with this one is to have a look at the background and maybe add some more details. So let me just get a red pen up here. So we've got this area of blue here, which is just blank space at the moment. So I thought I might experiment, maybe put in a couple of houses or some more trees or a church or something. And let's see how that goes. So I've got a transparent layer here. And let's change this now to uh, black. And I'm going to reduce the opacity. So I want to keep it fairly faint. Let's see how this is going to look. So the house is going to be partially obscured from view. Let's put in a chimney here. And some windows. Long window. don't really know, to be honest, if I need this or not, but like I said, it's a bit of an experiment, just to see how it turns out. Adding a little more detail to the brickwork. few more trees behind there just to create a bit more depth. Okay, now what I'm going to do is add another layer and I'm going to block in the white. And I'm blocking oops that didn't work. Okay, so I'm going to block in the white behind or under that layer I've just added. So, one of my earlier influences, if you like, with cartoons was the, the great British cartoonist Giles, who was famous for his detail work. And he really was a master. He kept uh, drawing cabinets full of uh, reference materials, whether it was on cars or houses and all that sort of thing. So if he drew a particular building or a particular tree or a car, it pretty much looked how it should have looked. He really was a master draftsman. And his sense of perspective was spot on. And there really wasn't anyone else who got close to his, his level of skill. There were some uh, good newspaper cartoonists. I'm trying to recall some of their names now. Uh, a guy called Jack would have been one of them. But nobody really came up to the level of detail. I've tried to emulate Charles a few times, but I'm simply not that good. And that's not being hard on myself, but that level of detail work is really not my thing. But I do enjoy doing some more detailed cartoons from time to time. So some of you will be familiar with Gerald the Goat. Uh, Gerald the Goat is my most popular strip. And Gerald the Goat is also one of the simplest things that I've ever drawn. Um, my style's never been that complicated. But with Gerald, I was partially using the strip as an experiment in sort of a minimalism drawing. And then as people commented you know, like Gerald, I thought I would keep the star, but anyway, it's nice to do something a bit more complicated. So anyway, that's blocked in the white. Now, just switching to the eraser just to erase that. Now, what I'm going to do, let me just try doubling that. 
Okay. Now I'm going to block in some colour. So let's go to the watercolour brush. And let me see. Let's have a sort of ready, ready brown. I'll lower the capacity a bit. Let's try that on 20, see how that looks. Just put in the red brickwork. It doesn't matter if I go over it a bit here, because that will actually create a nice effect with some variety in the brickwork. Okay, and the chimney. And I think a grey for the roof. Like so. Um just a little bit of blue. Trees in the background. Put those in. And I think that is almost going to be it. Okay, one more to go. Okay. Now, what I just want to do, I just want to make the foreground and middle ground a little uh, stronger. I'm just going to add a little more detail work here, just so that there's some blacker lines now, because the the lines in the background with the house and the trees are more faint. just want to put in some stronger lines here. And I even wonder whether a little more, just a few stronger black lines here and there on the characters might be good. Just to make it a little bolder, stand out. Let's try that. And zoom out a bit. Now, the only thing is, it looks a bit too green, so just finally, I'm going to add in just a little more snow. Just on the tops here. They're fir trees, they don't totally look like fir trees. But never mind. And that's the extra detail. Thank you for watching.